Easy. Budget. Shot. Don't You know, there are some fine charter schools today who are adding to the education options that our parents have. However, I don't believe now is the time to lift the cap on charter schools. Those are recent cap lifts in 2010. I think that now is the time to double down on public education and make sure that every dollar and every penny that we could possibly put towards our public schools is invested in our schools. Well, my take on charter schools is um, any school that is working for our students, we need to support. And so if there are schools out there, charter or BPS uh, schools, that are working, we need to expand those schools, make sure that students have access to those schools. There are some great BPS schools that we need to make sure has a lot of support. And then there are schools in BPS that are struggling, and we need to make sure they become quality. Uh, the charter schools that are working, we need to make sure we embrace and becomes part of the district's, the whole system, the whole city system of education. And I think we could do that by creating one single application process. I hear parents always talk about the difficulty of understanding the applications for the charter school process, the difficulty of understanding even some of the applications for the BPS schools. Creating one application process gives us better access to all the schools that are working. It's an application process that should also have with it a definition, a broad definition of quality and information on what quality, what kind of quality education and programs you will find at different schools and allow parents to make the choices for the schools they want to go to. I like charter schools. Uh, I like choices for parents and I like schools that do a good job. So for me at the end of this, I want to partner our Boston Public Schools and our Boston Charter Schools to make sure uh, that they're all working to be and working together to be great schools. So I mean, you know, charter school, a lot of my colleagues who are running, they look at charter school like it's some sort of silver bullet. It's not. Education is a, is a delicate ecosystem. There are 127 Boston public schools and there's 25 charter schools. And I don't think the solution is to simply go charter or all charter or more or even more charter until we really know what that means. Um, you know, I know that charter schools have made Boston public schools better in some ways. I really believe that. I think charters serve as laboratories. They serve as a way to really push Boston public schools to do extended day, to um, to try new things. But it doesn't mean that we simply go more charter, all charter. Some of our most popular schools in the city are regular Boston public schools. Um, and charters uh, have some significant differences with our uh, public schools. What of charter schools? was my uh, position on charter schools. Uh, as a legislator, I've been a proponent of charter schools. I'm on the board of a charter school. Uh, I'm also looking at education as not one size fits all. I'm looking at different options in schools. So charter school is one component of that. Pilot schools, industry charter schools, Votech schools. I'm looking as a whole portfolio of schools as, as far as we move forward here in Boston. What's my take on charter schools? Charter schools it, um, present uh, an option for many Boston families. Uh, it is a, a way that some of our young people are educated here in the city. It has been, um, they have been successful in terms of um, representing or becoming hubs for innovation. And um, they are, as I said, they're, they're an important option. I believe that charter schools have a place in the system of education here in Boston. Uh, right now, no more charter schools can be established here in Boston because we've reached the limit. Our cap has been established and put on a number of charter schools. Charter schools in Boston are performing at a very high level. Again, it kind of goes back to my idea of putting more decision making and more autonomy at the school. That's what charter schools are. They're almost self-contained little systems themselves. The decisions, the creativity, the innovation is, is being done at the school level. Charter schools are also, the students at charter schools, I should say, are performing, 70% of the students are performing at a proficiency level versus 15% in our traditional public schools. And that's because I believe there's, again, a lot of innovation and creativity there, but there's a big investment in teacher training, performance evaluation, how they get better. There's also a lot of parental engagement. The school day is longer. These are all the things I want to bring to traditional public schools. So I support charter schools. We're not all, we're, the, whole play, the whole system can't go to charter schools. There's a place for every type of school. But that's why I say I'm about empowering parents and giving them more choices. Let me put it this way also. This way. First of all, I would invest in universal 
preschool, high quality education for all children living in Boston. Now middle class uh, families and those of means uh, are doing this anyway. I'm uh, hoping to invest in children who are from the working class or the working poor or, or those living in poverty. They should have the same opportunity at high quality universal preschool education. Studies show that if you have that opportunity, I'm talking in the early stages of life, two and a half, three years old, all the way up till kindergarten, when the mind is really most flexible and developmental possibilities are great, uh, you'll do much better in school. And you also learn other social skills. I'm not talking about math and reading, but I'm talking about self-control. I'm talking about paying attention to the teacher or resolving conflicts. They call those skills student-centered skills. And that's a great asset that you acquire when you have a universal high-quality preschool for everybody. So when, the, when you walk into school on day one, whether it's kindergarten or first grade, you're ready to learn. If I'm elected mayor, I also want to make sure that the school day gets a bit longer, that uh, that will allow for science, art, and music to be added to the curriculum. Those are the first subjects that are cut. But longer school days also seem to translate into better results. I'll also be about empowering parents and giving them more choices. This means expanding charter schools. This means increasing uh, autonomy in a traditional public school. Let the principal and the teachers be innovative and creative and come up with good ideas and not be encumbered by rules coming from 26 Court Street, which is school headquarters, or the union. Uh, I also want to invest in innovation schools, which are kind of like charter schools, but again, allow a lot of great decision making down um, in the school level. I want to emphasize science, technology, engineering, and math for our students because these are where the jobs of the 21st century are going to be. And I want to make sure far more kids graduate from high school. Even if you don't go on to college, graduating from high school will help get a good middle class or blue collar job. But if you drop out, the chances of living in poverty go up into a high level and that has to stop. So again, back to my original point, I believe the next mayor can be transformative. We can break a cycle here of poverty, a de dependence, under education and violence that actually comes when the achievement gap gets grows, kids drop out of school and then they veer off at their lives, lives of crime and violence. We want to end that and I think I can do that with my plan.